I never expected to, uh, to, to do the things that I've done in racing. I mean, I started racing later in life. I started racing when I was 20 years old. And uh, I mean, I was just doing it for fun. A couple of my buddies went racing and I, you know, I remember going with them and thinking, man, I, that looks like fun. I got to try that. And I was pretty good at it. So uh, luckily, because I wasn't good at anything else, I, you know, I couldn't even ride wheelies as a, as a kid on pedal bikes or anything. So, um, you know, it was, it was a cool thing for me to kind of stumble upon this, you know, this whole uh, venture. Um, but I definitely accomplished a lot more things, uh, you know, throughout my career than, than I ever thought I would have. I, I think when I won this national for the first time, it, it wasn't really a shock because I actually had a, kind of a, like a monkey on my back, so to speak. Um, I had years before, I think I was fast enough to win and I actually won a moto and then DNF'd another one or whatever. Just I had weird, I, I actually had like some bad luck here for a, a handful of years before I actually won. So. Um, when I when I first won here in '97, it was I wasn't really surprised. I mean, I was I was stoked that I did it finally, you know. But um, I always felt like I could do it here, you know, because I've had some some good speed here all the, all the years. But uh, when I did finally win and I had the luck going my way, it was it was really cool because I had pretty big wins. I won both motos in '97, and you know, with with uh, you know big pretty big leads in '98 as well. So. Um, it was nice to finally uh, get that monkey off my back here at Southwick. Uh, my decision to retire, I guess, I mean, I had been thinking about it for some years now. Um, I always seem to come out and try to do Southwick and, uh, you know, retain that number 16 number. That's been a kind of a cool thing for a handful of years uh, since I retired from full-time stuff. But, uh, you know, recently I've been kind of I guess I've been, uh, you know, losing the desire to keep coming out and doing that. I've been kind of thinking about my exit strategy, I guess you could say. And um, so when I heard the news of, uh, of Southwick, uh, you know, going out, uh, you know, off the, off the schedule, I just, right away I knew that was, that was my cue. I just figured, you know what, I started my first, my first race was here at Southwick in uh, 1987. And so I guess uh, I'm going to finish it off where it all started here in the sand. Um, I think my goal for, for this uh, last race is, uh, I don't know if I actually have a goal in the motos as far as a finished position, but uh, <laughs> my goal is to qualify. I really want to try to qualify because that seems to be hard for me, that times practice thing. But um, honestly, I feel like I'm, I'm really excited to race the motos because I feel like I don't have any more pressure on me for, for anything. You know, I'm not trying to retain the number or anything. So um, I really would just love to qualify and just go out and just, just ride it one last time and uh, and call it a day. The plan for my son racing the national was, uh, it was kind of always uh, sort of in, in the back of our minds and I had always hoped someday that he could try to qualify for a race while I was trying to qualify. I just thought that would be a really, really cool thing. Wasn't, we weren't really planning this year. I, I didn't know if he was quite ready. Um, but seeing as how this is the last Southwick, you know, I, I kind of figured, you know what, this is our chance. You know, because I really, I really thought that Southwick going off the schedule was the perfect time for me to go out. And uh, so we kind of streamlined it up a little bit. And, and so here we are. So we'll see how it goes. I don't think he's completely ready, but uh, it's going to be a, an interesting weekend no matter what. I think uh, my my memories here of the, of the fans are uh, I mean the thing that sticks out in my mind the most is that they're the, the fans here are unbelievable I think they're the, the most loyal fans in the world I mean we've had some some nasty races here just hurricane days coming through and um, you know I've had good races and bad races over all the years and uh, it it always every year it amazes me how how much support I feel um, the cheering that I hear and. And uh, you know, I'm not even I'm not a contender anymore for any winning or anything like that. But uh, I mean, I, I can be riding around. I mean, last year I was a runner around in 20th place or something after I crashed a few times, and I still had people cheering everywhere. And it was, you know, it's really a great feeling. So I, this this uh, this last race for me is 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 for the fans. Thank you once again. Thank you guys. You know, it's going to be emotional for sure. I mean, just the whole Southwick thing and. The, and you know even all the fans that we've seen here over all the years and for all the young racers the, the local guys i mean it's it's really uh it's really a sad thing for for all these guys i mean me 
Doug Henry and some of the other guys over the years, the local guys, we've had our Southwick, you know, that was always our, man, I couldn't wait to get to Southwick every year, you know, and um, so it's just, uh, it's, it's going to be a bummer for, for a lot of reasons and, uh, you know, for a lot of people. So I, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get through this weekend without losing it. But uh, right now I'm trying to focus on riding. <laughs> <laughs>